Hi, I'm Sophie Dieu. I'm a visual artist who loves ink painting and today using this medium I'm going to show you how to paint a Banksia flower. For this you will need some watercolor paper, A4 or A3. I'm using a Derivan uh, paper brand and at the back I've made a little mark so I know which side is the right side, this one, and where the cross is, that's the wrong side. I also need some water. I'm using recycled containers. I've already poured my ink. I'm using this ink today, which is a pigmented ink. I will need a smaller brush. So one of those three sizes are good. I will use this one today because that's my favorite brush. And I'll need a water brush. You can use anything like a watercolor brush or um, a goat uh, hair brush and I'm going to use the larger one because it will be a lot quicker than using the smaller one. I've detached my piece of paper I'm going to put it flat on my table and using my water brush I'm going to coat each side of the paper with water. While my paper is still humid, I'm going to do my background using the ink. You can check the level of humidity on your paper by how shiny it is in the light. If you see that some spots look a little bit matter than others, then you have to even out your water with your water brush, otherwise the ink won't travel very well on the paper. I'm going to use only a little amount of ink on my brush. I don't want it to be dripping like this. So I'm going to tap very gently on the side of my container and while my paper is still humid and a little bit shiny, I'm going to do some zigzags on my paper and let the ink spread in the water. You have to expect the ink to dry about 30% lighter than what you see at the moment. So it looks very dark, but it will be a medium gray once it's dry. Here my paper is nice and dry, so I can start painting my Banksia. First, I'm going to place the general movement of the Banksia on the paper. It follows a spiral pattern. And I'm just going to complete the top part to make it nice and rounded like an actual Banksia flower by adding just a few lines. Next, I'm placing the stem. For this, I press a little bit more on my brush and then I'm placing some of the leaves. And here is your first Banksia. You can leave it as such and frame it nicely around by cutting the excess of paper and a background that you don't want or like me you can keep on going and try to fill in the space a little more
of you might get caught in the creative process and in that case just keep going and make more flowers I've added a few more and I'm going to show you how to enhance and add contrast to your painting using white ink for this I'm using the brand Art Spectrum you can have it in large container it also comes into smaller bottles pour a tiny bit into a container here I'm using an old ceramic bowl and to apply it I'm going to use a number zero brush so very fine What I'm trying to do here is to have some areas that are denser than others. Here, for example, I've tried to regroup a few, a few brush strokes, while here it's a lot more sparse. When I apply the ink, the white ink on the top part of the banksia, I try to respect the natural formation of the plant so i try to follow the spiral that i've originally followed when i applied the black ink now i'm going to put some on the leaves but again i don't want to overdo it the reason why i'm only using white ink on the central flower is because i want to create depth if I was to paint the three flowers with the white ink, they will even up and the final result will become quite flat. Instead, by focusing only onto one flower among the bunch, I create a lot more three dimension effect in my painting. Last but not least, I'm going to recenter my composition and crop any excess of paper that would put it off balance. Now that your painting is complete and cropped, it's ready to be placed within the frame. So put it in there, hang it, et voilà!